In this video, we're going to try and differentiate and integrate secant of x. Okay, so um, so in the previous video, we've seen uh, secant of x uh, equals this. So let's try and differentiate it first. So uh, so we are now going to try and differentiate this. Later on, we will try and integrate this. So to differentiate this, um, let, let's just imagine y as being y equals this. Well, uh, secant of x, we can write it as 1 over cos of x. Um, and then now uh, rewrite this as uh, as this, and then now use the chain rule. Um, but by the way, once you're here, you um, you can use the quotient rule, uh, but uh, it's up to you how you do it. Just just somehow differentiate this. Well, differentiating this, if you if you rewrite as this and use a chain rule, uh, this goes down. That will then give you um, minus one. Leave the bubble intact. Leave the bubble intact, and then the power here gets minus by one. And then you've got to times with the derivative of the bubble itself, which will be this. Now tidy this up, it will give you this. And then now you can break this up as two fractions. So uh, imagine this as being one fraction multiplying with another fraction. Uh, this thing here is 10. This thing here is 10. And uh, you've got 10 times, well this thing here is uh, secant of x. So when you differentiate it, it will give you this. Okay. So now we're going to try and integrate it. So, uh, so in order for us to integrate this, we, we need to know that, um, well, we've just seen this. If you differentiate this, we just did it earlier. If you differentiate this, it will give you, it will give you one block multiplying with another block. Um, if you uh, differentiate 10, 10 of x, it will give you this. But we can always rewrite this as this. Okay, so, so in order for us to integrate this, we will need to know these two. So, so just remember, differentiate 10, it will give you, um, it will give you this. Differentiate this, it will give you this. Okay, so let's, let's try and integrate it. So, um, uh, in order to integrate it, let's just consider, consider this thing here. Um, someone noticed that if you differentiate this, well, if you differentiate this, it will, well, differentiate this, it will give you this. Because, well, if you try and differentiate this, different, differentiate secant of x, that would then give you this. It's what we've seen earlier here. Um, if you differentiate um, secant of x, it would give you uh, it would give you this thing here. Okay, and then later on, if you differentiate tan, it would give you this thing here. So if you um, we are trying to um, we are trying to uh, to integrate this. We are trying to integrate this. But in order to integrate that, let's just consider this. Let's just consider this thing here. Someone notice that if you differentiate this, it will then give you this thing here. Well, you can factorize this because here you've got a block of secant x, and here you've got secant secant x times another block of secant uh, secant x. And then uh, secant of x is in common. Secant of x is in common. You can uh, you can factorize it. Uh, you, you you can take it out, and then this tan tan here is this, and then you've got another block left, which is this thing here. Well, if you um, if you uh, if you if you factorize out the uh, the secant of x here, it will give you this. Okay. So uh, so now um, now now we are currently here. So 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 we we are trying to integrate secant uh, secant of x. Um, but in order to integrate this, someone notice that if you differentiate this, it will give you this. Factorize it, it will then give you this thing here. But then if you let, um, if you let this thing here, by the way, this thing here is exactly the same as this thing here. So if you let this thing here be u, then this is also u. Okay, so, so if you look at this, differentiate u, which is really u prime, which is really, which is really u prime. Um, so, so we are currently here at the moment. If we, if you let this to be, if you let this to be u, and then let this here to be u, then, uh, then you've got this. Differentiate the u, which is u prime, and then this thing here, secant, uh, secant of x times uh, times u. So now divide both sides by u. That will then give you this. So now remember, if, when, when you're integrating something, always always try and keep an eye out on something being the exact derivative of another thing. So when you've got this case here, if you if you integrate this, it's going to give you the natural log. Okay, so remember, if you, um, if you, yeah, we've seen this many times. If you, um, 
when, when you're integrating, try to keep an eye out on something being the exact derivative of another thing. Because if, if you, um, if you integrate, uh, whatever here, let's say 3x squared here, how would you, sorry, how, how would you differentiate this? Well, if you differentiate this, you would do this. To differentiate it, you would have 1 over the bubble, and then times with the derivative of the bubble itself. So, so this thing here gets multiplied to the top. So that would then be the uh, derivative of the bubble over over the the actual bubble itself. So, uh, so when you differentiate this, it would then give you this. But then, if you have something here, if you integrate it, it should take you back to here. Well, here you've got something being the exact derivative of another thing. So, in so you're here at the moment. Integrate both sides. That will then give you this. Okay, so uh, so if you integrate this, it will give you this, um, and then um, uh, and and then uh, and then what? Let me think. Sorry, and then uh, oh yeah, and then we said that let u earlier. We, so we are currently here at the, mo at the moment. Earlier we said let u be this thing here. So now we can put this into uh, into the u here. So that will then give you this. So when you uh, when you integrate this, it will give you this. Okay.